Hey everyone, I'm Nog and welcome back to Satisfactory. A few things has happened uh, in between episodes, not that much, but a little bit. Uh, as you may have noticed, every building has gone black and that's because I changed the default color. So um, yeah, there's that. That's a minor thing, right? But also I have built out, up a lot of walls around the place and over here you can see it says U and L, which means unloading and loading. And it's green, which means that the entry is this way. So, uh, yeah. So you can go in here, but you cannot go the other way. I haven't made uh, unloading and loading in red on the other side yet, but I think I will. So there's that. And uh, let's just run over here. I think I did some stuff over here in our soon to be encased industrial beam factory. So let's have a look. Uh, I'm pretty sure it did. All of this stuff down here is still the same. And all the buildings are not going to be black. Uh, we'll change that up a bit. But I think this one will actually be black. Okay. So they have. Uh, so, uh, as you may have noticed, we, we moved to the uh, regular uh, game, not the experimental one, so that's pretty nice. And they have fixed up the, uh, uh, the vertical conveyors, the conveyor lifts, so that they actually work with the uh, walls now uh, on both ends, which is really, really nice. And I have set it up uh, most places so that we actually have it working with the walls so that's great and we are producing a ton of uh, steel beams at the moment and they are all coming over here and being stored in this big boy and it's actually full now so they will store stop producing pretty soon why are you not getting any steel beams oh uh, you up so there you go now you are and we are producing a ton of steel beams uh, which is great because that is what we have access to right now for uh, for belts let's see if we can jump up in this wall wow, we could but I jumped down again for some reason let's try this again Whoa. so I have hooked this up on uh, wall conveyors here, run over here, and all of these industrial beams are going to come in and be hooked up to our encased industrial beam production. So that's 450, once we get the upgraded belts, 450 uh, uh, beams that we'll be getting every minute. And we actually only need 16 of these. So if we un underclock just a little bit, if we do, let's uh, underclock it to make it 15 per minute, then we will actually be doing, uh, we'll need 15 of uh, these machines. No, sorry. That's uh, my calculations that are absolutely horrible. Uh, we'll need 30 of the assemblers for making the encased industrial beams. But the concrete needs more. So we need 20 concrete per minute as things are. And if we times that by 10, that's 200. So that's 10 machines and by 10 again, that's 400 machines, or uh, sorry, uh, 20 machines. Wait, am I calculating right here? No. Yeah, 10 machines is 200, 20 machines is 400, and 22 machines is 440. But we could up overclock a little bit and do quite a lot of machines here. Am I calculations right here?
I don't think so. So, yeah, they are. So we could do around 22, 23 machines producing encased industrial beams from a full belt of, uh, of concrete. So I think that's what we're going to do. We'll just overclock a few of the machines a little bit so that we get up to the max for a 450 belt and then this will have to be what it is because they don't match up, right? So, yeah. That's what we're going to do. And that'll give us a lot of encased industrial beams a minute, which is fantastic. So, that's what we're going to do today. So, let's hook up uh, these guys. Will they go all the way? Uh, what's it encroaching? Uh, it's encroaching that thing. Darn it. Uh, let's tear that out. And it's still encroaching. Tear that out. It's still encroaching. What the hell's going on? Oh, this is output. And I turned it all around. Darn it. Ah, okay. My bad again. So, what we want to do is we want to bring this up top, which is fine. We, want, we will do that, no problem. So, uh, let's see logistics, conveyor pole stackable. Get one of those in here. I want it something like that. And then we will do this. Hopefully, it will not encroach. It will. Crap. It is encroaching. We need to turn all of these around. Wonderful. Man. Okay. We'll, you know what? We'll just redo the whole thing because I think that's going to be easier. So... Just redo the entire shebang. And remember that steel is coming in below. Or steel beams are coming in below. Oops. There. Uh, no. Steel beams will be going in. Where? Uh, let's see. So over here we have the concrete factory, which will be coming in this way. So we'll do steel beams below and concrete on top. All right. So let's stick in the splitters and I think that's seven, yeah. And the splitters will go in there. And then we'll just run them down here. We will obviously need more machines, but uh, that's okay. Uh, this is not right. The assemblers are a little bit annoying with this uh, because it says that it's in the middle. But it's not. Uh, it's there. It's like that, I think. And it's five. Yeah, that's just conveyor belts. Yeah. So like that. And then we'll want one. Like that. Let's just put them all in at the same time. not where we want it. There we want it. And what we'll do is we'll build it in layers. So, oops. We 
we'll have another floor where we'll split out the, uh, the concrete and the beams and build them up top. Yeah, because we don't have room. We have room for a couple more here, which I think we'll build because it was 22. If we overclock, it's just 20. So I think that's what we'll do. And I have actually uh, unlocked overclocking. So we just need to whoops, make our slugs, or convert our slugs into overclocking. All right. So that's that. Now, uh, now we need a conveyor pole stackable. That's instead of the wall. Let's put that there. Let's stick one of those in here. And hold. Have it. Right here, and this should be able to get down there. And then we need a conveyor pole stackable here. Like so. And we want one at the end. Like that. Let's hope that. Oops. We can get this to go in here without encroaching. No. Okay. No worries. We'll fix it. We'll just take a second. So I'm, I'm not gonna make any cuts in the in this episode, just so you can see the the process that I go through every time I build something. And that may be not very flattering to me that I sometimes have to do star things multiple times, but it is what it is. Uh, let's see, can we get a splitter up here? Yeah. And then do five. Yeah. This one is not gonna be straight, but I can live with it. Oh, get out of the way, pole. And then we will stick one. And this one will be going the other way. That's right. And we'll stick that there. And then we'll put that in there. All right. So now we can get all of these going. And let's see. Be the second. There. 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 And we can hook all those up. There we go. And then we just need the top ones, which will be hooked up to the machines there. 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 and then we just need to run these all the way down and hook them up Almost done. There we go. 
I don't have the materials on me to make more uh, assemblers right now, so I'll just put those in uh, in between episodes. So this one is going on the bottom, and we have the ore or the ingots flowing, and the other one is already connected to the top, I believe. No, I didn't do that. Let's not fall down. Let's see if we can actually connect it to the top. Need to jump over there. Now we can. There we go. And we need actually 30 of these machines and right now we have 10. So there will be three floors of these going into one. production line of uh, what are they call in case industrial beams so yeah we will need to set up three floors of this we will need let's see how many floors do we need for those I guess we need three or four I think maybe we can do with three because we can fit at least two more. Wow, that was not my intention. Uh, we can fit at least two more. I think maybe three more. Yeah, we can fit three more, I think. So that would take us up to eight. So we'll make. But we just need seven. So. 7, 14, 21. So three floors of these. And all of that will just be fed by one floor of encased industrial beams. Or uh, just beams. It'll be fed by one floor of beams. So that's pretty good. Now all we need to get is some concrete. Whoa. That's going to hurt. So we need to get some concrete going over here. And what we're gonna do is take the three concrete plants that we have over at our central hub over here. We will make those uh, Mark II machines and we'll get two of them going into the, um, over to the in case industrial beams and one of them will keep producing concrete for us to use. So we need to delete that, delete that. And we need to put in a minor mark too. So. And then we need some three conveyor belt we need to hook you up to some power where did you get power there or there oh I put I chose dismantle instead of let's just hook you up to there and there we go that's producing uh, now 120 per minute so Oh, I thought we had two. No, we only or three. We only have two. That's okay. So then we will do you and delete you. Delete this and put in another Mark II miner. And we will make all of this. Mark three belt. And we'll actually cut this here. Oops. What did I almost delete? Okay, it's the constructors, that's fine. They need to be deleted. 
and I am full what's in here uh, let's just delete all of this limestone don't need it okay and it actually needs to we don't need the splitters here we need a merger which we have here no that's a splitter as well let's do that where did this tree come from i'm pretty sure i chopped down all the trees but maybe stuff respawned from uh, from the new patch or something okay so here we go we need a truck station which i'm actually not sure that i have the materials for uh, i hope i do i really hope i do but we might not have I might not have. Uh, let's let's try it. Uh, vehicles, truck station. I don't have it on me. We're missing ten modular frames and five rotors. I am pretty sure I can do that quite fast. Uh, let's just remove one minor mark two. I actually think I might have it already. So no rotors in there. There are some rotors, the modular frames, no, 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 okay, can we make 10 modular frames, no, we can make 3, because we need, uh, are they reinforced iron plate, why can't we make any of that, we don't have any screws, we have screws here, I didn't notice, no, 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 and no, okay, well, we can get those quite easily over here. Here we go. Let's get a thousand. As I think I mentioned earlier, we are going to need to change this whole logic because this just won't work. The, the trucks will be offloading at the wrong offloading stations and loading on the wrong loading stations and so on. It's just going to be a mess. So we are going to... Not enough space. What can we delete? Well, let's just delete that one. There's just not enough space to... Uh, uh, to unload at the right, to guarantee unloading or loading at the right uh, spots, I would say. So, uh, yeah. Which is a, a damn shame, but it is what it is. And there we go. And... Oh, uh, do we have what we need now for a truck station? Yes, we do. So let's get that set up. Uh, I actually think I want to delete these two, which will turn everything off, which is not great, but we'll get them up again very soon. So we'll put the truck station. Oh, I'm in the way. Right here, I think. It'll work. I hope. And we actually need to get some coal over to this truck station as well. You will when when we get to that point. Oops, we want that we want this. So we want to come out and turn quite fast and uh, it doesn't matter when we turn 
It does actually. Because um, we need to get fuel in there and we'll have this coming over this way. So actually this one just needs to turn over here. Let's just build this merger first. And the merger will have two inputs or three inputs and an output. The output needs to be that way. And it needs to be right here. Let's do that. And hope we can get this going in there as we can. And then this will come over this way, like so, and go in there, and then we'll go in there. Alright. So we need to get the power poles up again, uh, and we're going to need two, I guess, from what I saw. So let's do that. I'm not sure why we needed two, actually. Oh, because they're going over there as well. Okay. Uh, but it's crucial that we get power going again as soon as possible. Uh, this one isn't powered. Uh, this isn't powered. What were we powering at other than this? I mean, they were 4 and 4. Oh, it's all the constructors and stuff. Of course. Alright. So, we have quite a bit of what's it called? Limestone going in. This is only 270. So we don't actually need to upgrade these yet. Or overclock them. But we have our truck station and it actually runs straight out into this which is going the wrong way, so we'll have to go up here and over and in or around. But we do have enough for a truck, don't we? We need the modular, f heavy modular frames, which I have over here. Oh, and we need some coal. Do we have coal on us? No. Uh, but we don't actually have a way to feed this fuel at the moment. So I think what we'll do is I will um, find out how we're going to get fuel. Why is this producing so little? 60 per minute. It's a minor mark too. Oh, it's an impure. Darn it. Okay. I will figure it out. So I'll, in between episodes, I will get some fuel going over to uh, this truck station and I will... Then, and then in the next episode we'll do the truck route so that we get the concrete going over here and we start producing encased industrial beams. So uh, yeah, it took a little bit longer to set up than I anticipated but uh, that happens and uh, you got to watch the, the process so um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and maybe subscribe, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.